things being what they are and the flu going around and all kinds of illnesses going around, a major part of the anthem today was going to be sung by the Sopranos. <clears throat> well, the Sopranos are rather thin today. So we have decided that the choir will not be singing the anthem today. I'll try to make up for it later on. You will understand when you hear it. So now we're going to have our time with children. So kids, come on up here, please. Please, come on up. Fantastic. Thank you very much for coming up. Say, yeah. Say, this past Wednesday, we, come on. This past Wednesday, we had a very exciting service. It's called Ash Wednesday. Now, Ash Wednesday is usually supposed to be something that's really quiet and very sacred. And so I had this very good idea. Yeah, I did. It was a great idea. I, I said, okay, we're going to make ashes by actually taking the palm leaves from last year, representing palm Sundays from last year, and I'm going to have them on a big mortar and pestle up here, and I was going to put them on a table right here, and we're going to burn them here, and then they're going to go down into ashes, and then we'll grind them up and, and make ashes for people's forehead. Doesn't that sound great? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they said. So what happened was it got a little crazy. I know. I know. See, I, I'm going to show you something, and it's a boo-boo. I feel bad about it. You see, you see this little spot right here? That's where a little bit of ash got down there. And I, I've used the scissors, and I've used the knife, and I've used the goof off. And boy, let me tell you, it was a goof. And, and cleaned that up and everything. But it was very exciting, because the flame was like that. <laughs> it was. You guys missed it if you weren't here. So anyway, something else happened. While, I was, while we were burning that, we also we had this beautiful purple cloth on the table. And Sheila told me, she said, Garth, don't you get any wax on that, that cloth. <laughs> well, look what happened. Ooh. Not only is there wax on it, but there's little holes in it. <laughs> I think, I think Sheila is really, really angry with what I did. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila, are you really angry with what I did, aren't you? And, and I, I'm, I'm wondering, Sheila, you, hate, you, re you really disliked what I did. Does that mean you hate me? <laughs> Garth, first of all, I don't like the word hate. Oh. You know, when you say the word hate, that's such a strong word, and that gets people right down here. It really hurts bad oh. when you use the word hate. Now, Garth, yeah. I may not like the fact that that happened, and I may be a little upset with you, but the fact that you told me about it, that you admitted that you did it, and it was an accident. Uh -huh. You didn't mean to you're do right, that. I, yeah, I know it's a little silly. <laughs> and the fact that you're telling everybody here that you did it. Yeah. Well, I say that we need to forgive when that happens, and I forgive you for doing that. You do? Yes. As a matter of fact, I will give you a hug. Oh, thank you, Sheila. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, that is a little bit of what this time during Lent is supposed to be like. A time for figuring out the times when we made big mistakes, but that we try to figure out how to make them better and understand that just because we make mistakes doesn't mean that our parents don't love us because they do. Our parents and our family and friends love us very much, just like God. 
Is that a good lesson today? Yeah, I think so too. Thank you very much. That's enough for children's time. You can go back to, and you're staying in the worship service today, so you can be on the carpet or with your families.